trouble. Sack. On the football field, one of the first steps of detecting a concussion often comes down to asking the potentially affected player a few simple questions like, when's your birthday or who's the president? But with the explosion of research and awareness around concussions in sports, the process looks to be changing for the better. A soon-to-be-released paper in the journal Neurology is expected to give a boost to a more scientific approach, a blood test that can quickly diagnose concussions more effectively than simple clinical methods administered by doctors and trainers. The Wall Street Journal's Matt Futterman writes that the paper by researchers at the National Institute of Health raises hopes that eventually a blood test for a concussion will be as objective as diagnosing high cholesterol or a heart attack. It comes amid growing frustration among scientists and even those on National Football League sidelines with the so-called protocols for diagnosing brain injuries. Quote, we see a direct correlation between the length of the playing career and the development of CTE. It's looking like that, not the concussions, but the duration, the years of playing is a significant factor, said Dr. Ann McKee, director of Boston University's CTE Center and a neurologist who examined the brain of Kevin Turner and determined that the former University of Alabama and NFL player died in March at age 46 from a neuron disease brought on by CTE. Turner was the lead plaintiff in a class action settlement with the NFL that's still working its way through the appeals process. For the NFL, the emergence of a diagnostic tool based on medical data rather than judgment highlights the awkward balancing act it faces in the concussion debate. The test could tamp down withering criticism that the league has ignored the effects of head injuries, but it also may reveal more vividly how dangerous the game really is and potentially sideline more players for longer periods, even if they aren't suffering from obvious concussion-related symptoms. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has recently cast the league as a health and safety crusader, funding research to make the sport safer. Over the past two years, the league awarded $800,000 in funding to Quantrix, a Massachusetts company whose blood testing machine features prominently in the NIH study.